This is a demonstration on delegated administration which is a new feature in release 12.2. We will be creating a local administrator who will manage the users in a particular area. So the example I have taken is quite simple. And this is a full demonstration in the Oracle product itself. So the example is we will create a user ADM underscore den to manage the roles and responsibilities of Denver area users. And let us say in Denver there are only two users. One is Peter and the other is Paul. The first step you have to do is you have to create an instance set. An instance set defines what is the user population that is going to be managed by the local administrator. For that you have to navigate to functional developer. This will open a self-service page and here you have to query an object umx person object. This is the object that refers to users. Click on update. And on this object, we have to create an instance set. So here, this is a column tab which gives you column name as party ID. So your query while defining the instance set should be based on party ID. Click on one of the update and then click on cancel then you will see that this create instance set button will appear here. Click on the create instance set and give a name to the instance set. So let us say ADM then I set is the name and I already pasted the query here. So this query is important. I have taken a very simple query here. You have to give a query with party ID in and give a select clause to define the population of your users. Then click on apply. You will see that ADM underscore den underscore I set has been created. Click on update and click on apply. So the first step is over, we have created an instance set that defines which users will be managed by the local administrator. Step 2, we have to create a role for the local administrator. So let us go and change the navigation to functional administrator. Okay, change the navigation to user management and click on users. Click on roles and role inheritance and create a role. Give a name to the role ADM Dream role. It can be any name. Give the application application object library and let it be active since the beginning and apply this. Now query the role ADM percent den and click on update click on security wizard here and run the security wizard user management security administration add rows here and select the instance set that you have created give all user administration privileges for that particular set and in the role administration allow creation of new roles as well and apply create a grant for the role 
let us call it ADM DN grant and leave this object blank say next and choose the permission set user management user management home page menu say next and finish grant has been created say ok so you can see the grant here and you can also see that we have attached the instance set that we created and click apply here Once again, let us query the rule. This time, view the role in a hierarchy and add a node to your role. Let the node be user management this is this is what you are doing to make user management as a child of your role so that all the privileges of user management are inherited into ADM den role see the hierarchy it has been now attached to the role so your role definition is complete let us go back here and so second step is over third step we have already completed that is we have created the role inheritance then assign the role the role we have created is to be assigned to the user so go to users query the name query the username to whom you want to assign this role ADM den is a user that is already created in system administrator so just query that user from user management update that user and assign the role assign the role that we created for ADM underscore den select the role and click on select give a justification local admin and an active from date scroll down click on apply the role is now attached to the user Go back, we have completed this. Run the workflow background process. Remember all these actions we are taking, you have to log into sysadmin user to access user management and roles and inheritance etc. So from here, go to system administrator and run a request workflow background process process deferred timeout give yes say ok and submit go to view request and see that the request completes normally so the request is running I repeat once again all these activities that we are performing need to be performed as sysadmin user. Sysadmin is the user that has a basic right to create all the users, to assign all the roles and responsibilities and to do the user management. Now the workflow background process is completed. So now we are exiting sysadmin and we will log into the local administrator.
So let us log in as the new administrator ADM underscore den. This user was already created through system administrator with a temporary password. So this is the first login for this user. So you'll have to change the password and say submit at the time of first login. When this user was created, there was no responsibility attached to the user. The user management responsibility is attached to this user automatically by way of assigning these roles. Now we can go to users. Now this local administrator has got the privileges to manage certain users. So let us see whether he can manage the users Peter and Paul. So give a query with Paul. So he is able to query the user Paul. If you go to update, then you can assign the roles and all. Let us try another user, Peter. This user, Ericsson Peter, can also be managed by this local administrator. Let us see some other users like operations, whether they can be managed by ADM den. So there is no query. That means there are no privileges to manage this particular user. Let us query another user, sysadmin. No result. So no privilege to manage sysadmin. Once again, go to Paul, click on go. So these are the only two users that can be managed by this local administrator. And this is how we have created a local administrator who can now assign the roles from here to the users that we defined. So this is the last step, verify local administrator that we have completed. And so this is basically a demonstration of how you can create local administrators within Oracle release 12.2 any version like 12.2.2 or 0.3.4 and this demonstration was given on 12.2.4 so visit this www.facebook.com slash r12 financials book set this is a page dedicated to a 17 volume book set on r12 financials giving a complete step-by-step -step visual documentation on how to perform each functionality within Oracle applications with abundant snaps of Oracle. Thank you. Bye-bye.